guys, it's Chill Shimmers. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing a new brand, at least for me. I haven't heard a lot of people talking about this, but this one is Iwoma Beauty. And this one, this brand is, I think it's an indie brand. It's very similar to Juvia's Place, which is one of my favorite brands for eyeshadows ever. So I thought I would give them a try. The palettes look stunning on the website. They are exclusive to Ulta, so you can only get them at Ulta and the Iwoma's um, website. So before we start, don't forget to subscribe below, like this video, and if you're interested in knowing everything about these two beauties over here, then keep on watching. These are the Woma eyeshadow palettes. They're called the Black Magic Color Palettes, both of them. They do have different names. One of them is Allure and the other one is Savage. I do believe that the this one is Savage and this one is Allure. So something that really caught my attention about this was the packaging. I really love how they um, did the packaging, especially because on the sides it just says Woma all over them and I think that's really cool. So on one of them everything is black and yellow as you can see, kind of like greens. And it really resembles how it is inside because I'm going to open it up and show you the inside. This is how they look on the inside, at least the Allure one, and look at the packaging. So I really thought it was really cool how they kind of like chose the same colors for the packaging. The other one is the one that is called um, Savage Black, and this is the packaging for that one. I think it's like a woman, yeah, kind of like the outline from the side of a woman, which I think is really cool. And then when you open it, the colors are like this. And I think they look really, really cool, especially with the contrast off the packaging. So a little bit about these palettes. They both retail for $44 each, which I think is a little expensive. But I do like to spend a lot on my eyeshadows, especially if they're going to be good. Um, I did swatch a couple of these, and they seem very, very creamy. So that's really promising for me. And then this shimmers really look like some metallic shimmers, especially these four right here. This one looks more on like... Um, just a softer shimmer. I think this one is meant to be more of like a brow bone highlight or just an overall uh, just you know shimmer for your eyes. But these ones are really, really, really pigmented. So I'm gonna do some swatches for you guys so you can see what I mean by that. But you can see how cool these shimmers look, especially this kind of yellow over here that looks really stunning, especially for people with like tan skin as myself. I really find myself looking for yellowy tones like this one because I think it really fits and emphasizes kind of like the goldenness of my skin. So I really like that. So I love that I have this, you know, new option. It's kind of like an olive kind of mustery shimmer. I don't think I have anything like this, especially this green one right here. I think it's so unique and so stunning. This palette altogether just seems so different to what I'm used to seeing. And I was kind of tired of just buying the same things over and over again. So I really thought that these palettes really inspired me, which is why I chose them. The next one is the Savage one. By the way, this kind of like um, little separator here, this is really, really hard plastic, so it really feels very expensive. I think I'm gonna keep them, usually I throw them away, but I think this time I'm just gonna keep them in here. Um, this one kind of has a darker um, spectrum, I, I would say. It has like some reds and blues and some silvers as well. So I really thought that this one was really cool because it has a really dark silver and then a very sparkly one as well. I haven't swatched any of the, so these are all the shimmers right here. Both of them do have a more soft um, shimmer in the middle. This one happens to be this red over here. And the other one just happens to be kind of a goldish with a tone, a tint of green in there. So I really think that was totally, um, you know, not accidental. I think they purposely did that. Just create a little bit more variety in the palette. So these are supposed to be long lasting, water resistant. They're cruelty to free. Um, supposed to be highly pigmented, paraben free, and fragrance free. Plus brings um, ten shadows. Five of them are shimmer and metallics, and the other one, the other five are matte. Same on these palette. So other than these two, they did have one additional palette with different colors. I did not end up buying this one, that one, just because you know they were pretty pricey. Um, depending on how I feel about these two, I would probably make a decision on to whether or not I want to continue to purchase more. I also saw on the website some concealers, lipsticks, contour sticks, eyeliners, foundation, and of course eyeshadows. I was really surprised because I haven't watched any reviews on this. I didn't even re read the reviews on the website. I bought these solely on because of the colors. I thought they were stunning and I really just wanted to play with these. So I think of these two, I think I'm going to play with this one today just because I want to save this one for a special look. Just because I love these colors so much and I think this one just calling my attention especially with 
you know, the blue, red, and white. Kind of with Memorial Day coming right on the corner, so I thought it was perfect. Let's talk a little bit about the packaging because I did forget that. I kind of skipped through that. The packaging seems really, really expensive. It's kind of like that soft um, material. I don't know really what to call it. It's not... I think it's... It feels kind of like cardboard, but when you touch it, it's very soft to the touch. These lines right here, you can't really feel them. I think they're foiled. Um, and then when you open it, it does have a mirror right here. And like I said, it does bring this really pretty separator. It is a magnetic closing. So I really like that. And then it has Woma all the, over the back. So at first impression, this palettes really feel like they were worth, worth the price. Again, I haven't gone in to use them. So I feel like I've talked enough. So let's go ahead and try these babies out. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna do a little bit of a throwback. I'm gonna be priming my eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape. I haven't dipped into these, I swear to God, in forever, but this is what I used to do all the time. Kind of before I realized this concealer actually creases on me a lot and I just didn't understand why people were so obsessed with it because it's just not my number one anymore, I feel like. There's just so many other brands that have come out with really full coverage concealers that are just so much better than this one. This one is in shade light medium honey, by the way. And I feel like that was just a YouTube trend where people just thought that that was like the best concealer out there and everybody needed to have it. But... I feel like times have changed. I'm gonna go ahead and set this concealer. I'm gonna be using the um, LA Girl Pro Powder in the shade Banana. This is something that I had with me and I tried it for a video the other day and I kind of really liked it. So I'm testing it out again to see why I ever stopped using it because it actually worked pretty well for me. So I'm just gonna be setting that concealer. All right, I did fill in my eyebrows a bit because they were a bit bare and uh, Needed some help. Then I'm going to be dipping into these shadows. I'm using the one that's called Savage. So one thing about this brand that really caught my attention and I was really drawn to was that um, it's very women oriented. You can see that all throughout their website that it's very targeted towards women empowerment, feminism, and that's something that I really like. So you can see right here how this woman is kind of portrayed very, you know, in a very powerful matter. And then all the shades inside I think are called um kind of like fierce she tore savage things like that just very good adjectives about women i think they both have themes this one is more of like self-empowerment and then this one kind of is called like divine mystical lore and shedness so this one's more of like the mystical side anyway that was enough said so i'm gonna go ahead and start using these i'm gonna be using this shade first and i'm gonna be putting this on my crease this one is called oya i think i'm saying that right and i don't know why i think that I know that in some kind of language. I've heard that before. Can anybody help me? This is very pigmented. I'm putting this on with my Morphe M514. Uh, and so far, these feel very creamy and pigmented on my lid. I think I'm just gonna do one eye on camera because I don't wanna drag this out too long, especially because I'm kinda relying on natural light right now and it's gonna be pretty dark pretty soon. So I'm kind of blending this outwards a little bit. I don't see another shadow that I want to blend this with in this palette because I don't want to use that brown that's called Foxy. I kind of want to keep it very reddish on the crease. So I'm just blending this out towards my brow. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and dip back into that shade and kind of really pack it on that crease. I'm gonna do this a couple of times. I'm probably gonna edit, the, edit a lot of this out because I do spend a good amount of time, time just you know packing my shadows to make sure that I'm getting the most out of them. I'm gonna be taking a much smaller brush. This one is from Luxie. And I'm gonna be dipping into the shade, um, I think, what do I wanna go for here? Maybe I'll go for Storm or I think I'm gonna go with water first, which is the deeper red. I'm just gonna put this kind of like on, exactly on my crease underneath that bright red that I just applied. I think this is more of like a plum color, I don't know. Really pretty though. And then going back into Oya, I'm just gonna, you know, blend this out a little bit on the crease, going very softly really softly 
with my brush. So once I have done that, I'm gonna take a more dense brush. This one is from Spectrum Collection, it's an A12. And I'm going into Storm right here. This one is the Navy. And I really hope I'm not, you know, messing this up right here. But I'm gonna try to put this right underneath that crease and kind of create just a much deeper line all throughout. Because I think this blue shimmer is like really calling my attention. I'm going in with the shade Fierce, which is this one right here. It's this really pretty blue. And I'm just going to be applying this with my finger because I think they're kind of, they feel like pressed glitters, honestly. And yeah, I think this, wow. It's applying really, really pretty. So I'm just putting this all over my lid. I am like really impressed with this right now. I'm going to go back into that storm color, which is our navy matte. And kind of blend this right there on our crease. I feel like it just wasn't deep enough on the crease as I wanted it to be. I'm sure if you wanted to apply this with a glitter glue, it would apply really nicely. But I just think that when you have pressed glitters, it just it's just better to go ahead and just apply them with your fingers because they just, in my opinion, apply glitter. And I just thought, that's how I like them. I also don't want to give it a like very defined, you know, shape. I want it kind of more that, you know, sparkly glitter all over. So I feel like with my finger, I really do that where it looks very... Like a lot more natural than if I had done a cut crease and then applied this. That was very easy and very quick, much quicker than I thought it was gonna be. So I'm gonna be doing my other eye and then, you know, we'll go back to the face. Both eyes are done. I really gotta say that this was very easy to apply and I really, really love using the shadows. Um, I did have some shadows kind of fall onto my face and I did have to go in and kind of clean it up with a little um, makeup remover, but that's nothing that really bothers me. Now I'm going to move on to my face and I am going to be doing it on camera just because I have some new products that I really want to use and some others that are old, but, but I recently discovered some things that I really like and then I also got some things on BoxyCharm that I haven't had a chance to use yet. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be using this Cover FX Power Play Foundation in the shade G40. Whenever I think I don't like this foundation anymore, I find my way back to it. I think what I don't like about this foundation is that it, it's so matte that sometimes it makes your skin look so flat. I don't know. I don't know if I love that. Sometimes I do, but sometimes I'm like, I need a little bit more. I was forgetting I have my new Tarte brush, foundation brush, and I've been loving this. So I'm going to try and see if this does any better because I've been really loving this. I did forget I wanted to color correct under my eyes just because the eyeshadow on my, you know, on my eyes is pretty dramatic. So I definitely wanted to not have any darkness. And so I'm just going to use a little bit of this color corrector right now. It's still okay because I haven't really put any concealer down. So I am going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape as well. This one is in the shade Light Medium. And I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm going back to my old roots today. With the shape tape. I honestly had sworn that I was never gonna, you know, use this concealer again, but I opened my drawer today and I was like, I have four of them. I might as well just, you know, finish them up. I think the shape tape is such a classic for everyone that I don't think anybody's ever gonna be able to like actually remove it completely from their lives. It's gonna be like, you know, like me, like I stopped using it for a couple months and here I am finding my way back to it because that was such a concealer that I like swore by for so long. <laughs> That's done and we can bring some color back to my face. I promise you this is not gonna look like this at the end. Because I know I look ghostly. I'm gonna be setting this with my ColourPop powder. This one is the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder and I think it's in the shade Translucent. Pretty decent powder. I feel like it's more for like an everyday wear. but. I think it does the job pretty well. I do feel like this would definitely give me some flashback if I were to take some 
flash photographs. So I'm gonna be going back into this LA Girl Brightening Bame palette. I tried this out the other day. I think I filmed a video on it. This one is their highlight and bronzer palette for I think this summer. They just came out with this limit edition um, palette and I loved it. So I'm gonna be using this contour shade kind of to warm up my face a little bit. So that really like brought some color back to our skin, but I want to go even deeper than that. And what I've been loving to warm up my face lately is this Fenty Beauty um, Sun Stalker Bronzer. I have been obsessed with this. This one is in the shade Private Island. And I'm just going to be taking a little bit of this and kind of warming up my cheeks. So for blush today, I'm actually super excited because I got this on the BoxyCharm for the month of May. And this one is the Alamar Cosmetics Colorette Blush Trio. I got the shade Medium Tan and this is how the shades look like. I was super excited to get this. I think I've only tried this one on the top and I loved it. I love the fact that these blushes are not very matte. They kind of have some little bit sheen to it and a little bit of glow, which I love for the summer. I think it's so perfect. Although that might be a little bit too out there, but I think I'm gonna be using this one because it's more of like the deeper tone. They are really, really pigmented. Hopefully, I can tone, tone this down a little bit. Pretty much of these shades kind of fit me, so I think I want to try this Floral Jungle, which is kind of like on the pink side. I think this is the only shade of the palette that I haven't tried so far. And I'm just going to be applying this on my cheekbones with this Anastasia A23 brush, which is probably the best brush I've used for highlight. That looks really pretty, but it's kind of left a little bit um, of like white film on my skin. Now I'm going to go back to the eyes. So I'm dipping back in into the Woma palette. And so far I have to say I'm loving this look. I'm loving this shimmer blue. It's just like it is everything to me right now. So I think I'm going to be doing kind of like a more smoky under eye. I'm going to be going for the Storm shade, which is this... Um, blue over here that we were using. So I'm going in with a flat brush and I'm going to be applying that very close to my lash line. So I've been trying to figure out what Woma means because I know Womo is man in Italian but I googled it and nothing really comes up related to woman which is what I thought it could be in some other language. I don't know. But I would love to know a little bit more of history on this brand because I really love supporting smaller brands. Like I know Juvie's Place just launched their concealer and foundation and I honestly jumped on that so quick. I woke up 5.30 in the morning to pick up my foundation and honestly, my shade, which I thought was going to be Ibiza, was already sold out, which blew my mind. So I ended up getting all two of them kind of one darker and one lighter and hopefully I can review that for you because I don't know if it's gonna actually fit me but I think it can make it work with those two that I chose. I'm gonna go in into um, Oya, Kuya, I'm not sure. It's this pink right here and I'm just gonna be blending that out underneath. And this shadows are honestly just so pigmented that you really have to be careful with where you apply it. So now we're gonna go to lipstick. I did apply some mascara on my eyes and I'm gonna let that ooh, dry down for a minute. And for lipstick, I thought I was gonna be using the one I got on BoxyCharm, which is this one. But I don't know if this is, it might fit. It's kind of like creating some Maybe too pink, honestly. Better not do that. I also have this old forever here, but I think this is too deep for this look. I think this next is going to be it. So I'm going to be lining my lips first with this Barely There, which is exactly what it is. It's literally barely there. You're not even going to see any difference. And then I'm going to be going in with this NYX, NYX lingerie in the shade Exotic. That's how it looks like.
And I'm gonna be applying some lashes. I have this one's here from um, Glam Addict. This ones are in the style Love Struck. All right, guys, so there you have it. This is a complete look. Honestly, I can only speak for the one that I used today. This one is a Savage Black Magic Palette by Wilma. And honestly, this was so easy to use. I absolutely love this look. I would totally wear this out and not feel like I have too much on my eyes, even though it is a really dramatic look. I love the fact that the shimmers were so highly pigmented. Um, I'm gonna call the I'm gonna call them glitters because I feel like they're more on the glitter side. The only one I would say is a shimmer is this one right here. But I love the fact that I could apply them with my finger and it was so easy. I would totally recommend going in with a glitter glue if you want to use it that way. I would love to use this one with kind of like a smoky eye with just black. That's why I love the fact that they included this black right here because I could totally see myself just kind of going in with this two and that one. I kind of forgot to put a little bit of highlight on my brow bone, but I would love to see um, how this one over here would look as a brow bone um, highlight. Finally, I found something that inspires me and that makes me fall in love with makeup again. It's not more of the same. They're not making this to still box of this. They're actually just making this, you know, because they're quality shadows and I feel like they put a lot of thought into their shadows, into their colors, and especially into their packaging, which I really, really appreciate. I think this looks really, really cool and I think it's making a difference. I can't believe that I didn't even notice this um, brand before and I can't believe I'm not seeing it all over social media because I really think that this is something that people should be paying attention to. I had a lot of fun with this video today and I really love using their matte shadows. I think they're more off the Kind of shadows that are very creamy and buttery i feel like they're the ones that you're going to put on your eyes and they're going to blend really easily but you are going to have to go a couple of times to build up that pigment the pigment is there i'm not saying it's not it's just one of those creamy shadows that you just have to you know spend a little bit more time just making sure that you apply over top and over top um if you want to go with high highly pigmented shadows i feel like you could go in there and really dip, you know swirl your brush a couple of times and go into your eyes but i feel like that way you're gonna have it's gonna be overly pigmented because these shadows go a long way as you saw i literally dipped a couple of times into that red and i did then i started um blending on my eyes which i usually don't do i usually just go in and kind of pack and then blend in with a lighter shade but this time it actually just took those two couple of you know dips into the shadow for it to like blend as much as it did. So I feel like I'm talking a lot, but I really love the concept of this brand. I love using this shadow today. I would definitely recommend it. I feel like it's a little bit more on the expensive side. I actually didn't say how much shadows they bring, but they bring 0.35 ounces per shadow and they do bring 10 shadows um, overall. So I really like to test out if they're water resistant and if they're long lasting. Obviously I didn't do this in this video because you know, that's not really the right setting for it. But I love the fact that they're cruelty free and they're paraben free and obviously fragrance free. I really appreciate when brands do this. I have really sensitive skin, so anything can irritate my skin as little as it is. So if you go into the website, they actually break down the ingredients per shadow. So they actually tell you what is in each one of these shadows, which I think is really good because sometimes I feel like brands just slap names in there that you can't really you've never heard before, you can't even pronunciate, and you don't know what they mean and what you're putting into your skin. So the fact that you can just go in and see exactly what is in each one of these. Overall, I think this brand is going above and beyond. And honestly, I just I know that I just use one of their products, but when you put it all together and you compare it to other brands that are just launching out products without even thinking about it, it's just launch after launch after launch with really no, no intention other than just to sell products. Um, I really appreciate when brands like this have a concept that they believe in and you can tell, you can tell in their packaging, you can tell on their quality. So I feel like I talked forever and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope you guys test this brand out and just really, you know, experience what I think I experienced today. I think I'm going to find myself using this palette a lot and I think the next video that I film is probably going to be with this one and I hope that I love it because I can't wait use this shade right here anyway guys thank you so so much for watching this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it as always don't forget to subscribe below like this video and i'll see you on the next one bye